following video is brought to you by Goofy. Apparently he likes ribs. Hi YouTube Studio here, welcome back to some more low rated duelist. We got Fantasy Dragon 45 here at 93 rating. He's got his nice 60 card deck, 4 cards in the extra deck. Started things off by summoning the 6 samurai. Yar easy. And you did that out of order. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend you played this first, but Wow, what is this? Chicken Race FDK? I also got Battery Man 7, because he's a fan of Battery Man, and the equipped is still equipped to the monster. Thank you very much. It doesn't just magically die. So, what the heck, Battery Man? Like, come on, not that hard. Not that hard. So, anyway, I don't even know who I'm rooting for. Like, this is terrible. We're gonna summon a weak 1000 attack monster with no protection. That can't even have its effect because you don't have another face of six salmon. Like, are you kidding me? And then Battery Man just going ham here. So he he didn't do any cheats that I know of. I mean, the equip spell should still be on the field, but I don't think that's really gonna matter because he's probably gonna get like Exodia or Chick. I think this is Exodia actually. He's probably gonna get Exodia this turn. Watch it happen. So we're just gonna be sitting here, sit back, relax, and watch the Exodia happen. He's got the Dark World Dealings, draw the card, discard a card. Both players have to do its event. Fantasy Dragon, please draw a card and discard a card. That'd be very nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Battery Man's not even going to wait for Fantasy Dragon to discard. He's going to be playing another Dark World Dealings. Takes another Neg 1, pitching the Tune Table of Contents. And at this point, you only got four cards to work with, so... Mm, hopefully you have some more draw power, because I don't think Exodia is coming anytime soon. He's going to be playing Hand Destruction, which again is another Neg 1, so you've already gone Neg 3 this turn. He's going to be pitching the third Tune Table, so he had three Tune Tables in his hand, and I kind of forgot what else he pitched, but whatever. Fantasy Dragon still has to discard for that second Dark World Dealings. He only did it for the first one, but ah, uh, whatever. I don't think Battery Man cares. Because there should be four cards in that graveyard because he played two Dark World Dealings in the Hand Destruction. So, yeah, I, I don't know why there's only three in there, but who cares? Uh, Battery Man just set a bluff cards of Considence. Fantasy Dragon's going to be blind spacing, and he might actually get his first win of the format here. Like, wow. I mean, seven straight losses. I, I feel the struggle, man. I, I, I know what it's like. So, hopefully Battery Man just has complete garbage and you just OTK with your six Samurais. Hopefully you have like a Kizan, maybe another Kagamusha. No. Oh, okay. No tribute. Yeah, yeah. I know. I was like, no summon because of effect. It's like, what do you mean no summon? <laughs> it's like, that makes no sense. So hopefully you have a Kagamusha going to Shein and I'll pretty much be game over. Yeah, that'll literally just be game over. Oh, now he's going to tribute someone. He's going to be tributing the Grandmaster and that. To normal summon the blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> Funny thing is, you would have had more damage on board if you just would have attacked first. <laughs> uh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> like, no, you can't. What do you mean, no, you can't? Yeah, though those were all legal plays. You can special summon that. Yes, you can tribute them for the blue eyes. But it's so stupid. It's like, why are you playing blue eyes and six samurais? It's like if you would attack first, you gotta would have put more damage in. Like, like what kind of logic is this, guys? Like, what kind of freaking logic is this? Yes, his first summon was a special summon, not a normal summon. Congratulations. I don't know what it, why Battery Man is trying to say you can't, cause these are all legal plays. Are they logical plays? No, not at all. Are they legal plays? Yeah, they're all legal. So, anyway, back to Battery Man's turn. He has three cards to work with. Let's see, you got anything to deal with the powerful Blue Eyes White Dragon? I don't know. Oh, he's going to be setting a monster. What is that, the Royal Magical Library that he top decked? See, top deck right in that Royal Magical Library. Yeah, pretty useless top deck if you don't get it for turn one. Ain't that the truth. So, Fantasy Dragon, what are you going to be doing, my good sir, here? You got any more Blue Eyes plays up your sleeves? Oh, no, are you going to be summoning the Dark Magician this time? Special summon, a, or wait, you can't even special summon another Glare Master, because you need another Samurai. You can play Soul Charge and then tribute for the Dark Magician. Ooh, we're going to be seeing 
Fantasy Dragon set a trap and then play it on the same exact turn. Let me give you a round of applause for that. He set Return of the Six Samurai, and then he's going to conveniently play it in the same exact turn. Because that's totally how that works, everyone. <laughs> yeah, the trump card lets me special sometimes. <laughs> and this guy's like, what are you doing? What the frick are you doing? I know, but you can't do that. This card's still terrible because it destroys in the end phase. Like, that, do you know how broken that'd be? I'd just be able to set any trap that I want and play it whenever I feel like it. Like, God, man. It's so pro. MLG so pro. So, you can't set this and activate the same turn. Yes, you cannot do that. And Fantasy Dragon is like, I don't care, I'm going to be summoning my Jax Knight. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, okay. But I'm, st I'm still going to get away with the cheat, everyone. What the heck is going on? Okay, okay, he's gonna take it back. What the frick? Why are you playing Jack's Knight? This is the most weirdest six samurai deck I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, what the frick is this, guys? What is this? Like, can anyone in the comment section below tell me what this is? Because I would love to know. <sighs> Anyways, you still got the power of blue. <laughs> wow, I called it. I called it. You top deck right in that Royal Magical Library. Uh huh huh. Look who's left in now, Royal Magical Library. Such a terrible top deck. Funny thing is, I don't think Battery Man's gonna win this. He's just taking some Neg Ones. Like he took multiple Neg Ones off the Dark World dealings. He took a Neg One off off the Hand Destruction. Now he's gonna take another Neg One off the Reload here. And I don't think his deck has any other you know legitimate win conditions other than the Exodia. And if you don't get the Exodia, it's game over. And Fantasy Dragon will get his first win of the format with the most pro Six Samurai deck I have seen in my entire life. Like. Everyone, go, go message this guy on DN and net deck him, cause, like, look, he's he's actually gonna win this duel, guys. I'll bet you. I'll bet you some money he's gonna win it. Oops. Okay, he accidentally lost a thousand, so gained two thousand, please. Thank you. So now you can activate your trap and go for that lovely Jack Knight's play. Come on, do it. I know you want to. I know you wanna. I don't know what that set could be. I mean, maybe it's another White Stone of Legend. Maybe it's another Library. Ooh, here's Six Samurai United. So he'll be able to draw some cards off this at least. So he'll be playing his trap card most likely. Add a counter to the United, and then he'll pop it off to draw one card. If he has another Samurai, he could summon that and then draw two cards. So let's see. Fantasy Dragon. Let's see what you got up your sleeve. So, yes, here is the Return of the Six Samurai, bringing back the Grandmaster. One counter on the United, and then he can kill the United, draw the card. I oh, know, he's going to be summoning the Jack Knights first, because why the frick not? The powerful Jack Knights! I mean, who needs a genie warped werewolf when you got Jack Knight? I mean, come on. I mean, even though, you know, Genie Warped Werewolf is a level 4 and has more attack than this guy, I mean, Jack Knight's just so much more pro. Look at that hair. Dang, I wish I had hair that nice. And apparently, Battery Man is out of Blue Eyes targets, so either all three are in the graveyard, or you gotta reveal your deck or something, because this is a mandatory effect. I'm sorry, man. So, I'm just gonna assume that they're all in the graveyard, and Battery Man's gonna offer a draw here. So, let's see if Fantasy Dragon's gonna accept the draw offer. Personally, I wouldn't do it. I mean, seven straight losses. I'd been, I'd be hungry for my first win. Surprisingly, he's not gonna kill the United to draw a card. I mean, maybe he's in another six samurai. And he wants to summon it next turn to get the full pot of greed. And uh, whatever. But anyway, we are just sitting here now. And Battery Man's <laughs> no thanks, <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> And Battery Man's gonna be adding all five pieces of Exodia to his deck here. He's gonna be adding both the arms and the left leg. And then now... <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're gonna make this video like a 20 minute duel. You can't just add Exodia to your hand. Ah, oh, okay. And now Battery Man's gonna be summoning all five pieces of Exodia. <laughs> well, this is hilarious, guys. I hope 
I hope you're getting a laugh out of this. Cheater! So there is Exodia, and Fantasy Dragon has called an admin. Let's see how many admins are online. I think there's like two. Oh no, he's just gonna quit. So anyway, Fantasy gets his first win. The or yeah, first win in the format picks up. I believe that was 25 points. So congratulations! And apparently, you can just add Exodia whenever you felt like it. <laughs> I swear, you really had the nerve to set a trap and play it on the same turn. Like this does. This guy's the most pro six samurai deck ever. Like, look at how pro this is. This is like so pro. And <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> hey, at least he was nice about it. He said thank you. <laughs> uh but anyway, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Heard this edition of Low Rated Duelist as always. Stay tuned for Tuesday when we'll have some more. And I probably won't update you on Goofy. I promise I'll update you guys on Daffy Duck in Tuesday's edition. I promise I won't forget. And that's really all I gotta say about this video. So thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Stu Dog, and I'm signing out.